Hello everyone, Zildjian here with another episode of Let's Talk About Things. Try to keep it short, nice and quick because I know sometimes when I talk about <laughs> I get way too off topic and end up rambling and ranting and all that stuff. So this topic, this topic is about going to be about noodles. I don't think I'm going to talk that much about it, which is good. Yeah, I don't want to rant too f- much. Yeah, you probably don't have time to watch like 30 minute rant vlogs, right? Yeah. And also my internet can't, it takes a long ass time, long time to upload that anyway. Hopefully that's not counted as cursing, but okay. So uh, hopefully you can identify these noodles and not, probably not. This one, these are definitely my favorite kind of noodles. Instant ramen noodles. Oh, it has to be the instant ramen. It can't be like some other instant noodles. Like there's some noodles where it's like non-fried noodles or like it's instant noodles but it's not like the ramen kind those do not taste good these taste good but actually this brand this is like one of the cheapest brand brands but i like like the korean ones better like paldo nong shim you know the ones that make those super spicy ones usually the the korean ones taste super firm super tasty and super spicy top Top Ramen and Mar- Maruchan is like the low brands. And uh, <clears throat> uh, I've also tried like other other brands like there's like Chinese brand, Malaysian brand, Vietnam Vietnamese brand. Like I think one of them is Mama. It tastes all right. And then there's one Chinese one where it's like doll noodles. It's basically in Chinese, it's called doll noodles. Instant ramen is called doll noodles. Gong Gong Jai Man. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why, but okay. Uh, yeah, that was the Cantonese version, I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, some other Asian noodles. Rice noodles. I don't know why it's called it's rice stick, but I, rice noodles. I, I'm not even sure if this is the same as vermicelli. Is it the vermicelli? That's the rice noodle. Or is it something else? But basically, instead of using the wheat flour, they just use rice flour. So what ends up happening is it's a lot tougher, which is why I like it. Because normally there's like <clears throat> the wheat noodles, like these are like these are both thin, small noodles. But these taste good because they're tough. And I guess the rice has a, like a different t- taste to it. Well, these are spaghetti noodles, the the wheat noodles. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be spaghetti. There's also like Asian noodles, Chinese noodles that's also made out of wheat. Also like thin like this. And I don't like it. It it's, doesn't taste good. Like these are... Let me check. Yeah, these are made out of wheat too. But I think it's because they like fried it at some point or they add like something. Other ingredients to it that makes it taste better. Salmon, no, okay, whatever. I don't know. All I know is like the instant noodles, but yeah, they've been they've been uh, they've been fried in oil at some point before and then dehydrated. So that definitely alters the textures, the flavors, and the like chemical makeups of like I don't know the, something, whatever the nutrients or whatever. It it tastes it tastes better. It tastes different. It tastes better. <clears throat> And we got some macaroni elbows here. I actually like these because I like I like the the uh, are these these kind of pasta noodles. But basically, the Italian noodles, the wheat noodles. I like it a lot better if it's like like this. Like it's small, so it's not like just a bundle, like a mouthful of wheat or whatever. But also, it's hollow and it's big, so like it expands and then like uh, and it's big and then sticker or something and it takes it takes longer to cook these are actually really small i like the bigger ones like the bigger macaroni noodles and also like like the the this ones that look like screws like fusilli i don't know tor tortellinos I i'm i have no clue what all any of those noodles are called but basically i think some of them is like rotini ro- Teeny, is that it? Basically, they're like really big, hollow. Uh, oh yeah, those like clam shells. I don't. Know, they look like shells. Like basically, 
It's just these spaghetti noodles that I don't like. Any other kind of pasta noodles, any other kind of Italian noodles, I love it. I love it because they're usually like hollow and they're like bigger and they take take longer to cook. I think it if like cooked al dente definitely tastes better. Ugh, I should not be doing that. I think in an earlier video I said something about I don't got no pimples and look, I guess I'm wrong. I got some pimples or something. Something is causing me to be all itchy and bleeding and stuff. <clears throat> There's also mung, mung bean noodles. I also like those. It's really, it's just the wheat noodles that does not taste good. And the multi-grain noodles. Oh my god, I had multi-grain pasta. It did not taste good. It tasted horrendous. The whole wheat multi-grain. Uh, <clears throat> It, are green noodles supposed to be like multi-grain or something? Because I definitely had, I, I, had, I had to go to his freaking wedding in like, was it Maryland or Delaware or, I don't know, somewhere out of state? I think it was Maryland or was it Delaware? Maybe it was Delaware. I can't even remember. That's how forgettable that wedding was. Yeah. But basically we had a, like, green pasta for dinner. It was like three pieces five pieces or something it's really tiny amount i don't know if it was multi-grain or or something other kind of pasta noodle but it did not taste good like these noodles spaghetti noodles i can only i can eat it if there's lots and lots of sauce like alfredo sauce or pasta sauce or something like that i don't know why but like my family like they don't cook the sauce with the noodles they cook the sauce separately and they cook the noodles separately and then like you just bo I mean you're probably I think you're supposed to do that you're supposed to first boil the noodles to the like the right amount of firmness you want and then you cook the sauce and then I believe you're supposed to put the noodles in with the sauce and reheat it and cook it again am I wrong am I right or you just put the noodles in a plate or a bowl and then put pour the sauce over and mix it uh, I prefer it if you okay yeah you cook the noodles you boil it whatever you cook the noodles first and then you make the sauce and then while the sauce when the sauce is all cooked and heated up or it's not per like completely cooked or like when you're adding in the meat and stuff you also throw in the already cooked noodles and you mix it up try to get try to saturate as much sauce absorb as much sauce into the noodles then it tastes pretty good and Definitely has to be drenched, absolutely drenched in sauce. Otherwise, I, I, I won't like it. I don't like macaroni and cheese for some reason. I like the macaroni elbows and I like cheese, but I don't like macaroni and cheese. I think the problem is they're using the Kraft cheese or whatever. Like Kraft cheese, it does not taste like cheese. The Kraft singles, like the macaroni cheese they definitely using some kind of craft cheese formula or something inside it because it does not taste good it does not taste good at all yeah but actually like any any of these kind of noodles doesn't matter rice noodles mung bean noodles pasta noodles ramen noodles speaking of cheese macaroni noodles if i add shredded cheese like mozzarella or cheddar or like four cheese Mexican blend or four cheese like four different like sharpness cheddars like New York cheddar West like Midwest cheddar Vermont cheddar like yeah like when I go to the grocery store they usually have like like 50 times <laughs> the types of cheese like you got like some is like just mozzarella some is cheddar some pepper, pepper jack Swiss and then like all sorts of you know like four cheese blends like some of it is like different states some of it is like different types of cheddar some of it is like different types of mozzarella and stuff like that there's monster provolone goat cheese like there's so many cheeses pretty much almost feta cheese i do not like feta cheese i probably should have saved that topic for another day i pretty much talked about all the cheese right or not really well i could talk about how i use eat the cheese <laughs> yeah <laughs> anyway so pretty much put the cheese in with these noodles delicious delicious and also i don't have pasta sauce i probably should get pasta sauce so i can make some of my own pizza i think i mentioned that in the bread video been trying to make pizza with just cheese and pita bread and flatbread definitely tastes better on the pita bread because 
it's thinner so it's easier to crisp toast it up well, and it's thinner so it's like thin crust pizza and that's way off topic I'm gonna end up talking about thin crust pizza like freaking every time we talk about cheese or <laughs> bread uh, so yeah definitely ramen noodles definitely my super duper favorite of all the noodles uh, probably rice noodles and mung bean noodles also the second favorite oh there's also udon noodles I think they're made out of wheat too they're super thick but they're also wet and soggy and bland <laughs> yeah so it's not it's not just like the thickness well these are like I guess thick and hollow is good but like I'm not sure I it can't be just the thinness because these are thin I think it's just that these taste way too bland and get soggy or something I think maybe it's just the size or something I don't understand I mean it's the same ingredients right the, the spaghetti and the macaroni elbows so why does the macaroni elbows taste better than the spaghetti is it like some kind of placebo effect like some <laughs> something wrong with my brain maybe maybe it's because these are oh maybe because the, because these are thin they're long and like there's not as much space to absorb the sauce and stuff like while the hollow noodles you can like like while you're cooking and stuff some of the sauce will go inside the noodle so there's like extra exposure extra surface area exposure to the sauce that makes sense right i think so and like when when you got like like you got a fork full of these noodles it's super dense super packed full of these noodles and barely any sauce well for these noodles you i guess i usually use a spoon to eat macaroni and the tortellini and the other stuff so like when you you get a spoonful of these noodles you also got a spoonful of sauce so it's super savory super tasty super sweet or whatever sauce you're using jam-packed with flavors because you got sauce as well as the, the noodles well for this you can't really spoon you can't use a use a spoon to eat the spaghetti and when you use like a chopsticks or a fork or whatever to get this all the sauce just drops off that's that maybe that has a little impact on the flavor and the taste yeah I think so yeah and us, yeah, I mean, if there's plenty of sauce, plenty of meat, you know, meatballs, sausages, it doesn't really matter what kind of meat, hot dogs, you, since, <laughs> like, I, I, I really like hot dogs, the beef hot dogs taste super, I guess because it's super salty, I, like, I don't even have to season water or anything, I could just throw in some hot dogs, and then boil some water with some noodles, and bam, it's like hot dog soup, because <laughs> the hot dog is so freaking salty. I don't even need to use the ramen seasoning pack. All the salt and spices just seep into the uh, ramen water and makes the ramen taste super good. But I usually throw out the water anyway. Like for it doesn't matter what kind of noodles, I usually throw out the water because I don't know. It tastes bland unless I put like meat in it or something like meat, meat or like corn or something that gives a strong taste to the water. Then I'll drink it. Yeah. Otherwise, like this stuff, it has an off-putting taste when it's just this, no, nothing else. If there's meat or vegetables or fruit, it'll alter the flavor, make it, you know, savory for the meat or uh, sweet for the soup. Uh, the the fruits and vegetables basically turns into like vegetable juice soup or whatever. Then I drink the water because you know there's nutrients and stuff. You, it, I mean, yeah. Basically, I whenever I try to cook meals, I try to boil everything in water. That way, any any nutrients that leached out, I can drink it as a soup, and get, try to capture as much nutrients as possible. So okay, I'm gonna end it right here. Don't want to talk too long. Some of the vlogs lately have been way too long. Some of the let's plays have been way too long. Trying to cut down on the thing, yeah try to not talk about the same topic for freaking 30 40 minutes okay and i'm ranting again rambling okay so that's all time we got for this episode i probably could have cut it by two minutes and stop talking about that stuff and i'm still talking about it right now okay so what do you think do you like do you eat noodles do you like eating noodles what kind of noodles do you like eating and like are dumplings counts as noodles 
because it's also wheat but they have something inside right like dumplings pot stickers ravioli is ravioli a dumpling or is it a pasta noodle or is it both yeah i do like i do like raviolis by the way only the ones with meat the ones with cheese taste weird i tried raviolis with cheese inside it was just cheese there's no meat inside it did not taste good but the raviolis with meat inside tastes great I do like cheese with the noodles, but maybe they just use the cheese I didn't like. I don't know. Or, yeah. <laughs> or maybe because it didn't have any sauce. The meat usually has some kind of seasoning. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, so what do you think about what I say? What kind of noodles do you like eating? You know, what noodles from different cultures maybe? Or, or, or just like the fast food, super cheap, super fast to eat noodles. The cup noodles are also good, by the way. Yeah, but they're super expensive. Yeah. And they come pre-seasoned. Like, for these, you can save the seasoning pack. You can, like, use, like, half a bag and then, yeah, save it for next time or something. Or just use a tiny amount. For the cup noodles, it's... They have it all, all right away. Also, the bowls also taste super good. And sometimes they have, like, vegetables and stuff. Yeah, the more expensive instant noodles, they have vegetables and oil and stuff like that. And what? Why am I still talking? Okay. That's enough. Okay, yeah. So any any comments on these kind of noodles or any other kind of noodles you've eaten? You know, there's I I completely neglected like the flat noodles. I like those chang fun, chang fun, chow fun, and all that stuff. Like yeah, that's Chinese. But basically, it's like flat rice noodles. They steam it and stuff, and but you can also fry it and yeah. They some of it you just eat it by itself. Some of it you wrap it with like shrimp or vegetable, like herbs or scallions or beef or whatever eggs. You can make put whatever the hell you want inside. There's in like the stalls and like I don't know where you at, but in like in Brooklyn the stalls also have like peanut butter sauce. I guess white people like eating peanut butter sauce. I I'm I I mean it tastes alright, but okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. That's all the time we got for this episode. And so, yeah, subscribe if you have not already. Comment down below, rate the video, and support me on Patreon. You've got the cash money lying around. This went on way too long. And uh, support me on Patreon so I can try different types of noodles. Yeah, okay. As always, thank you for watching. Until next time, bye bye.